Hello, I have just overclocked the GPU on this particular laptop, which is the HP Omen 15 AMD 2020 version. I will be showing you some dirt quick results using user benchmark on what the difference is between before and after, and just, you know, give you just a rough idea of what sort of gain you can get by overclocking the GPU. Obviously, user benchmark is a very quick test and does not stress the GPU at all. This is just to see the difference between before and after overclocking. If you want to see more concrete results, you can comment down below what sort of test you want me to do on it. And when I have time, I can make a video and then post the results here. So you can compare them with your device if you have one, you know. And just for reference, this is a Ryzen 7 4800H with a 1660 Ti and 8GB of RAM running in dual channel. All right, so these are the results of the laptop running with max fans on, performance mode on, Turbo Boost enabled without overclock on the GPU. So that's the thing that we are going to look at. So I had very low CPU background, but that shouldn't matter anyway. So here, graphics card. So we can see that we are on the 72nd percentile. And although that is not bad, it's saying that it's performing below potential. And that is because no overclock has been applied to the card yet. Not everyone overclocks their card, obviously. So that's the reason why they're saying that. And there is a quick GPU overclocking guide here you can follow. And I recommend doing that. It's very easy to do and it's actually very safe. You can't technically damage your car because it's limited by what the BIOS on the car is telling you to do. And as after that, I cannot go beyond the limit set by the BIOS on the car. So let's now run the same thing, but with the overclocking on and see what the difference is. All right, so I have here the results. Numbers seem to have improved ever so slightly. What we're interested in, of course, is the GPU. So let's go down to the GPU and we can see we are now in the 98th percentile. Yeah. So overclock your GPU if you can. If you have thermal room, I definitely did have thermal room. You don't want your GPU to run at 75 degrees constantly. That's, that's what I'm saying. 